Hey everyone, welcome back to another uh, YouTube video of uh, shoe and boot repair. And usually I have my work apron on when I start my videos, but today I'm wearing a very special shirt. Uh, for you, those of you who know and may not know, uh, I'm rocking the Beatles Leatherworks uh, green tee uh, that I bought in support of my uh, good friend Steve. Uh, he's the owner and craftsman at Beatles Leatherworks. And uh, he's been a huge uh, role model and mentor to me. And he's taught me a lot of tricks of the trade. So I just wanted to give a shout out to him. Uh, he has a really big YouTube channel, uh, well over 100,000 followers. Uh, so give him a follow too. Um, he's also supported me and gave me a shout out. So I just want to say thanks for that. And thanks for everything you've done for me. I really appreciate it. So on that note, um, today's job is going to be a very cool pair of Fig Vol uh, horse hide Japanese made engineer boots. Personally, I don't know much about this company uh, or this brand, but the boots, the boots are beautiful, um, beautiful craftsmanship. Uh, the customer brought these boots in uh, to be resold. Right now they have a leather half sole and a rubber heel. So he wanted the leather half sole removed and instead replaced with a Dr. Sole Super Grip half sole. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take these apart and rebuild them with some Dr. Souls. Let's get started. All right, Figvol Makers Co. Goodyear Welt, reliable boots and shoes. Um, if anyone knows anything about this brand, please let me know because they are beautiful boots. First time I've seen this brand in the shop. All right, let's take these babies apart. And I also want to give a shout out to uh, Duke Robinson the customer who graciously shipped these in to us. Uh, what up Duke? Thanks so much for uh, trusting us with your boots. So we've got the uh, old half sole off and now we're going to pick all the stitches on the welt and then glue our new half sole on. Alright so this is the inside of this boot. You can see they have a nice cork filler. Uh, this boot's been very very lightly worn so we're going to leave the original cork in. No need to replace it. And we're going to just pick all the welt stitches. Alright, so I've picked all the stitches on the welt. Um, in order to do that, I had to open up these, the leather midsole uh, because otherwise the stitches were kind of locked in between the two uh, leathers. So it's much easier to pick out this way. So now I'm going to glue this back nicely, uh, all flush to the boot. And then from there, we'll prep for our Dr. Sole and uh, get rolling with that.
All right, and uh, one thing I didn't notice, well, I did notice, but I forgot, is that the original heel stack and top lift, um, the top lift is um, much more thin than the Dr. Soul, so I gotta replace the heel base with a um, thinner heel base because we're putting on a thicker heel, so we need that to balance out better. So I'm gonna pop off this leather heel stack and just custom make uh, our own heel stack for this boot. I gotta say, the quality on this boot's very good. This is a leather heel stack, very nice quality. Alright, now it's time to mark our half sole. course hand cut our uh, splice line
are very close to finishing this job on these beautiful Japanese uh, engineer boots. Last thing to do is dark brown stain edge on the edges of the soles and then do a nice conditioning with BIC4 conditioner 
We're not going to put any pigments or color onto this uh, leather because this horse butt has beautiful patina, uh, beautiful marbling going on, and uh, we don't want to affect that at all because they're only going to get better with time. So let's go ahead and put our edge dressing on in dark brown. Alright, last step in this uh, rebuilding process is to apply our BIC4 conditioner. Uh, we're using BIC4 because we want to maintain the beautiful integrity of this horse hide. Um, it's patining like crazy, um, got all these yellow uh, hues coming in, uh, some marbling from the horse hide there. So we don't want to alter that, we don't want to darken it, we don't want to put a sheen, we don't want to change the integrity at all, so just a light conditioning. A nice buff, and she's all done. All right, looking good. Uh, that wraps it up for today. We have uh, transformed these beautiful engineer boots from a leather sole to a Dr. Soul half sole and Dr. Soul heels. We custom made a little heel stack to balance everything out, um, gave them a nice conditioning, and that's about it. Um, they turned out pretty sweet, um, quite a different shoe. Um, so thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I do want to give one more shout out to my brother Dale, Aero Surfer LV on YouTube and Instagram. He custom made this apron for me and uh, it's my new bulletproof vest, um, it's my body armor, it's incredible, he's an amazing craftsman, does some beautiful leather work, so check him out too, Aero Surfer LV. Thanks so much Dale and uh, have a great day guys.